It's New Year's Eve and I'm stuck in the house. Cheers. We have about 10 minutes and then we're gonna bring in the new year. Hey guys, so it is New Year's Eve and out here in LA we're shut down. So I'm not going out unfortunately. So I'm just gonna turn up in here. I'm gonna go on live. So I'm just gonna do a full face of makeup. So this dress actually I wore this on uh, my last birthday last year. I'm gonna insert pictures or probably a video or even a link to the, that birthday. So I have see I didn't I didn't drink all this. So uh, I'm just going to finish this off and then we're gonna turn up. Because it's New Year's Eve and I'm stuck in the house. Cheers. Whew. Okay. So I got my little so I got my little drink. My, I'm just gonna be sipping on this. Um I can't take shots. I only sip. <laughs> so so while I was playing out this video, I was like, it'd be fun to tell you some encounters when I met celebrities. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say which places I work, but um I'm just gonna say who I met. So I think that'd be fun because I live I live in LA. I live close to the Grove. Wait, what am I looking for? Oh, sorry. So I'm just binding you guys. So I want to talk about the first person that comes to my mind. I met her almost like more than three different occasions, and each occasion she was a. And, you know, everybody talks about her. Everybody says like she's rude. Um, we meet her. So the person is Nene Links. If you guys don't know her, she's from Atlanta Housewives. I'm gonna tell you guys the first occasion. Then I'm gonna tell you the three other times where I met her at my job. So this is a popular hotel that me and my ex used to always go to for brunch and it's in Beverly Hills. So one day we went, we were heading up to the um, restaurant and I saw her, Nini, and she's not even that tall. Like me and her are the same height. Like when like when we passed each other, we was like oh, eye to eye. So on TV she looks so huge, but she's not that big guys. Me and her are the same height. So so I'm not, I looked, I, I looked, I'm like, oh my god, that's Nene. That's all I said. I was not that type of person that's going to run up to her and ask for a picture or anything. I said, oh my god, that's Nene, because it, like, it was just a shocker. And what she did, she looked at me, rolled her eyes, and then walked the other way. I was like, oh. <laughs> so I'm like, okay. This is rude. <laughs> so now let me tell you the time when I saw her at my job. Now, I work, I still work near Beverly Hills, my job. So... Oh, let me take a sip. So, she is so rude. She's so demanding. She she treats people. She treat people in service so bad. So, for instance, like let me tell you this time. Um, and her son was in there. Her son was looking at me too. So, if he's watching, hey. She was in there, and it was a long line. And she, all she wanted is one thing. And she was going through the cell rack. Right. So all she, all she was doing one thing. So she, um, I'm walking around. She's over there near my department. So she comes to me and says, um, this line is so long. Um, I just want to, uh, she said, I talked to a manager or whatever. And I'm, so I called the manager and then she, uh, I'm, I'm nosy. So I'm standing there to hear what she said. And she asks this is the manager, can they open another, can they get somebody else or can she check her out? And the manager did. She called somebody to the front just to check her out she's very entitled you know it's just so many different calendars but anyway I rate her a negative 10 a negative 10 and that same day a customer came up to me too saying like oh how rude she was because when she was shopping a customer went to her like oh my god I recognize you can't take a picture and she yells really loud I'm shopping and then the, the customer tell, runs to tell like she was talk, she heard us talking so she went all the employees so she runs over there and tell us I'm like I'm like yeah she's always been rude negative ten Nene Links is such a there I said it Whew. that took out a lot out of me because she definitely rude guys. So, um, I want my eyebrows to be, like, really natural looking. And plus, I'm not really going anywhere, so I'm not going to just go all out. I'm going to say this is a fail. But, uh, I feel like my stories are not as juicy as I thought. But, like I said, I'm going to do, I have so many different encounters with celebrities. So, I can do another one.
like the guy um what's that guy the joker not the joker shit not the joker two face off of batman i see he's very him and his wife i think they're married alec baldwin oh no he was horrible i don't like i don't like alec baldwin i do not like that man i give him a two and he didn't want to take pictures with nobody oh my god justin bieber too um, I give him a four. But yeah, um, yeah, I have a lot of counters. I'm gonna create something one day. So you know what? I just realized this video is not. Gonna <laughs> I'm gonna have to redo the celebrity story. <laughs> I'll have to redo it because drinking and telling stories is not. It doesn't mix. I would, uh, well, I have time to do like a really nice makeup. So I'm going to use the perce uh, Perception Palette by um, Makeup Shayla. Let's back to this tutorial. I feel like this is going to be a simple look again. Well, actually I have time. I really, I really do have time. I hope you guys are following me too on all social media. And I'm literally now, I'm addicted to uh, TikTok. <laughs> I wanted to create some new goals for myself. I probably have to redo it. Um, Cause last year, of course, I didn't do anything on my list besides I wanted to be consistent on YouTube, and I killed it this year. Like literally, I was uploading videos that like every week consistently. I did the vlogmas. I was just you know really on it. So. I don't know if I like this. Okay. So that's the basically the only thing I really did that was on my list for last year. So I'm gonna have to read. I'm gonna say read it up. I'm gonna have to um, go over that list again and add what I need to do. I'm trying to figure out what kind of lips I'm gonna wear too. I get you can't barely. Oh, you can't barely tell on the camera. This gold. I'm gonna create a new list tonight of my new goals that I want to set for 2021. But I know we're still gonna be like in shutdown mode out here in California, um, LA. So I'm just gonna use a transition color. I'm gonna use um, stallion, I guess. It's like a, it looks like a black color, but it's really nice, like a shimmery. Um, it's like a deep, deep royal blue. I'm just gonna use that. I was, it's so crazy. I was talking to one of my um, TikTok followers, and he was asking me like how I feel about this, you know, shutdown. Now, I don't mind being stuck in the house like I am, like, literally, I'm in the house. You know, I just don't like how a lot, of, like, out here in L.A., a lot of uh, um, small businesses has been shut down. Hopefully, again, like, some kind of help from the government. But, um, it's just, I don't know, it's feel weird. Like, and I would never think in my lifetime that this would ever happen. I, just, I don't know. I just, I just, it's crazy. So I'm going to use some magnetic lashes. Magnetic lashes is like my all time favorite. So the key with magnetic lashes is you need a, well, a thick enough layer. To make it stick, especially in the inner, because I I do experience it lifting a little bit if you don't put enough. And another thing, you have to wait till it dries in order to put on the lash. So I learned that the hard way, guys. And these lashes that I got are from Bourjois Cosmetics. I'm gonna have a link in the description box and also a coupon code for you guys. I 
I don't like how this one look already. But it's fine because I'm only doing it for live. This makeup is only for live. I'm not going anywhere. And I've been watching other people's lives. Like, they're having, like, prayer services and stuff like that. So, when I pop up on TikTok, I'm going to be, like, lit. This is it for my makeup. I'm gonna start setting up for the live, my live streams. I'm gonna be on live on YouTube and on TikTok. So hopefully you guys are following me. I might save the YouTube live. It depends how I like it. Hey guys, so right now I'm on live on TikTok and I'm also on live on YouTube. Um, this is not what I expected. I want to bring in my new year with like, you know, balloons everywhere. I want it to be lit. But TikTok is chipping. I don't know. I can't read anybody's comments. So we have about 10 minutes. And then we're going to bring in a new year. Um, I don't know if I should do like a... I don't know if I should do like a um, countdown or something. Oh, I see a comment. Thank you for my comment. But guys, this is like real life. Hold on. I'm going to try again on my baby right here. Welcome in, guys. I can't see anybody's comments. Thank you for following me, user. <laughs> but uh, I, I can't even read anybody's comments. Oh my god, it looks so good in that video right there. And I'm so disappointed in that I cannot read anybody's comments because... Hold on one second. I'm so disappointed in that because like I wanted to talk to you guys. Okay, so, oh, and my battery about to die on my camera. Happy New Year's. I hope that you guys are enjoying this day. I also hope that you guys are manifesting and sketching and mapping out everything that you guys want to accomplish this year. I know we, like, I know we're going to be shut down, especially in LA. I know we're going to be shut down. So, take advantage of this shutdown. Like, if you're not... If you don't have to work, if you guys are not essential workers, or if you guys are, um, <laughs> so if you guys are not working, this is the perfect time for you to start your business, start, buy a vending machine, you know, use your stimulus on something. So that being said, I'm going to end the vlog here, and I'm going to see you guys tomorrow's vlog. So, take a shot. This is the end of a little baby shot, but cheers. <laughs>